top 10 defines the moments of our lives. We have entire stories built around certain songs uh, and memories. And to celebrate that, we like to do something here called Playlist Shuffle. I love it. Okay, so we're getting a button. Thank you so much. He's going to come in here so Ooh, I can bleach that. look at that. Look at that. This is a fancy button. I like Season it. Season four, we're rich. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit this button, and a song title will appear on the screen, and Jeff will tell us the story of why that song is important to him. I can't wait to see this song. So let's go. Let's see who. Here's the first one. Oh, that's okay. a great song. Why well, Luck I, Be a Lady? I have this, well, Luck Be a Lady, you know, I like that to show. I've seen it on stage now. You know you know what it's from? It's from a Broadway show. Um, Guys and Dolls? Guys and Dolls. Yeah. Guys and Dolls. And in the uh, movie, uh, who plays Sky Masterson and sings that song is Marlon Brando. And then on the record, Live at the Sands, which I recommend, uh, Frank Sinatra, who's just great in it, si sings it. It's yeah. not his character. He's in the movie, but he plays Nathan Detroit. He sings it on the thing, and of course, it's Count Basie's orchestra. It's a great version of it, and uh, young Quincy Jones it. is uh, is uh, is um, conducting it. Wait, really? Yes. I didn't actually get all of that. That was yes. so much amazing Isn't information. Isn't that interesting? Well, you got to get that album, um, Alive at the Sands. It's it's great. Wow. All of Sinatra, it's, it's just great. But this, but Marlon Brando did it, and I have a connection to Marlon Brando. And I'm going to tell you a story, and you're going to tell me, is this true or false? I may be making it up, okay. or I may be, it may be true. Okay, so, I like this game. Okay, good. Okay. So Marlon Brando, okay. my, you know, the, the, the pinnacle of, of uh, acting, okay. um, got in touch with me. He knew he, I'd done The Fly, and I had done, you know, Jurassic Park. I had played some scientists in a couple of movies. Yeah. Jim Watson, who discovered DNA. I played these characters. He got the idea that, because he's very interested, he was very interested in inventive science, and he wanted to pioneer some new ideas. He got in touch with me. I'll be darned. He used to leave me messages. This is Bran Flakes, he would say. And Jeff, come over to my house. I went over to his house, and in his swimming pool, he had... It looked strange. I went, Marlon, what's, what's going on in your swimming pool? He said, those are electric eels. I think we could solve the energy crisis with an idea I have. E electric eels, putting in the pool, and that, that'll do it. Is that story is true or false? no way that's true. If that's true, someone needs some medication. <laughs> well, me, I always need uh, <laughs> all the help I can get. But that story is true, but not to me. It never happened to me. I never met Marlon Brando, but my friend Ed Begley Jr. met him. That happened? Exactly to Ed that way, yes. He had eels in his pool? Electric eels, yes. All right. And Ed thought, because I mean, okay. he, he was known for this, is he putting me on? Is he testing me? You know, he does a great impersonation of me. He would go, yeah. Ed, you know, this is the way I'm, we're going to solve the energy crisis. Anyway, there's that oh story. Oh my God, I love that story. That was false answer. Next one. Here we go. Okay. El oh. Dorado. Well, I Errol do Garner. love uh, Errol Garner. Was one of the first jazz pianists I heard about because my dad was a fan. He brought home Misty. You know, look at me, I'm as helpless as. He wrote that. Errol Garner plays it beautifully. But he's current. He he, he writes a song. He does a song now. Uh, called uh, um, El Dorado that just knocks me out. You can see him live on YouTube doing it. Oh, but here's a, here's a story. Is this true or false? Okay. My dad was such a fan of his okay. in Pittsburgh, he knew his manager or some a team that was, that was conducting a rehearsal with him in okay. Pittsburgh. And um, Errol Garner said, I can't practice anymore. We can't rehearse anymore. His guy said, why? why? I need a paper bag. I need a paper bag, and they said, well, kid, kid, uh, to my dad, can, can you go out and get a paper bag? He did, he went across the street to a pharmacy or something, got a paper bag, Errol Gardner then proceeded, when he brought it back to him, to take off his socks and shoes, put his feet, bare feet, in the paper bag, and continued the rehearsal. Uh, that's the story, is that true or false? I really hope it's true. <laughs> he, he, here's the answer. It is true, but not true with my dad and Errol Garner. <laughs> it's true. Listen to this. Listen to this. I just figured out how you get away with lying in life. It's okay. You weave the truth in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm slippery. Sorry. No, it happened to Alex Frank and his father. Alex Frank, who will you'll see, who plays the... the, the, yeah. the and arranged uh, our song. His dad... That happened to, not with Errol Gardner, with the great uh, classical pianist from Canada, Glenn Gould, who was very eccentric. That happened to him. His very dad got, eccentric. And he wouldn't play unless he took his feet off and put him in a paper bag. What? 
What does that mean? Like, why a paper bag? And you think it'd well, be noisy, right? I don't even know. It's just an interesting thing. Like, if he's playing and then you have to use your feet, you'd think you'd well, hear it. Yeah, well, yes. You'd definitely it, feel it. I, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I've never put my feet in a paper bag. No. Okay, that is Jeff Goldblum's Playlist Shuffle True or False Scenario. <laughs>